The objective of this lesson is threefold. Number one, I want to have a drop down list. And if I select any month, I'm going to get the data for sales up to this month. Number two, I want to avoid the drop to zero here. And number three, I want to have a moving legend. So how do I do this? I will go to a new sheet where I have my data. So I'm going to start by adding a list. I right select here. I go to home. I select my formatting. Then I go to data and then I click on this for validation. I'm going to select list, click on this arrow and select my months. Then we say, okay. So as you can see now I can select next. I'm going to add the month number because you see you have months here. I want to write, okay, January is equal to one. And then any months after that I add one. So you have your 12 months. Next, I want to write an if and a VLOOKUP formula to check any months here that is smaller than this month, then I want it, right? So let's see with VLOOKUP how to get the month number for this month. I'm just going to write the VLOOKUP here. I select this. I do F4. Then I'll get the dollar sign. Then I select my table here. Again, F4, so I don't want my table to move if I drag the formula. Force, column, one, two, three, four, and false. So then for May, I get five. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do if this month's number is lower or equal than five, which is my VLOOKUP, then what do I want? I want the data, right? I want the sales data. Otherwise, I want a blank. And I can drag this formula. As you can see, if I change, I put October, I get the value for those months. So I'm going to say this is my sales. Then we format this quickly and we are done. Next, we're going to insert a graph, right? So I select my date. I press control on my keyboard and I keep it pressed. If it's not working for you, it's fine. You could uh, just move the date here next to these two columns. And then you select the whole thing together. The next thing I want is my sales. And then I want my target. Then I'm going to do insert. I click on line and I have a line chart. So you have the target in blue, my sales in red and so on. And you see here, I have a drop. Why I have a drop? Because it's a formula. Obviously, if you remove the formula, you don't have the drop anymore, but you cannot do this manually. So what's the solution? We'll just fix the formula and use NA, it's a function in Excel. So you have to put the parentheses, uh, open parentheses and close parentheses for it to work. If I drag this, when you get an A here, Excel doesn't like an A, so it just ignores it. So then if I select June, for example, I took care of this problem. And then I also took care of the first objective, which is to see the data up to that point. Next, I want to add a legend here. So what will I do? I'll click here. I'll click on the last point. So I have clicked two times. The first time on the series, then on the last point here. Then I add data label. Then I click on this data label and I click another time. So it has to look like this, as you can see. Not like this, like this. Another time. One, two. Then on this one, what I could do, I can do label option. Instead of values, I can do series name. So I get the target. Next, if I do the same operation here, I click two times, then I add data labels, and then I click two times on my data label. I do series name, and I put it on the right. The problem you will have is that if I select, for example, October, this doesn't move. So that's not the right way to do it. So let's remove this. What we're going to do is we're going to add another column called labels. In this, I will just want to take the 450, which is the last number before I get an NA. And I'm going to use this number, insert it as a data series and use it just for the labeling. So let me show you how it works. So first, I need to get everything in A except this one. And obviously this has to be dynamic. So I'm going to say if you open the parentheses, 
I'm going to say that this cell, which is the cell below it, if it's an error, so I can write is error, you close this. If it's an error, what do I want to do? I want the data. If not, I want to write an A. You close the bracket and you drag the formula. Now this formula, you will see it will work for everything except for December. Why? Because December, the next cell is not an A, right? So what will happen? It will not reflect it. So what we'll do here is we'll write equal an A, close it, and then it works for December. So let's go back to October and let's insert this in this chart. So I right click, I will do select data, add the series name we're gonna take label for example series value we take these values we say okay and then we say okay now i have another series called label so what will i do i'm gonna click here right click for my data series and with this i'm gonna check that i got the right series if you see here i didn't get the right series i got sales so i'm gonna do series label then I come here, I click on the plus and I do add data label. And as you can see, I got my 450. Now this 450, I can click on it. Then we click on those bar chart. And instead of value, we're going to do, for example, series name. You can do also other things. There are so many ways to fix it. I'll show you only this way. And then I'll say I want it on the right. Now, as you can see, this label... If I change my months, let's say we select May, the labels will move. Now, instead of label, I'm going to call this sales. So I have the right legend coming. And now I'm going to click on this, click inside, press delete on my keyboard to get rid of my extra series. And then you will see that whatever I do, this will move next to it.